Hi, I'm Joey Rulo, and welcome to another episode of Inside 2016, Republican primary coverage. The last episode that we've covered have been mostly announcements. So now we haven't had any announcements for probably a good month or so. We've had two debates. We have a couple candidates who have dropped out already. We have a lot going on, folks. On the Democratic side, it's looking like there's a possibility that the Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden, may enter the race. With the upcoming debate within the next week or so on CNN, Joe Biden will be able to actually join that debate with Hillary Clinton with her opponent, Sanders, at the last minute if he chooses to do so. Additionally, the polls are showing pretty much nationwide that the leading front runners are Hillary Clinton on the Democratic side and Donald Trump on the Republican side. There's been a little bit of problem with coverage as per Donald Trump. Uh, there's been a few events that where Trump has had thousands of people there and the way they focused the cameras, it was pretty much done to make it look like Trump didn't have enough people there. Well, everyone out there who's been into one of the Trump events has seen that he's had 20,000 plus, even 30,000 at some of his events. The, the race is getting heated up. Donald Trump now is focused on a major tax plan. His tax plan was announced today. The tax plan is basically going to eliminate any kind of income taxes on anyone making under $25,000 a year. He's going to focus in on people like himself who are rich and the loopholes as well as hedge funds, which is going to be a very interesting issue on the Republican side since they're more towards the conservativeness of not going after taxes for the wealthy, etc. But for the general campaign, I believe that Trump is positioning himself to win a greater populace of the middle class, which is what he's focusing on right now. With Hillary Clinton, unfortunately, the issue has been mostly about the email situation when she was Secretary of State. She's been dodging that issue, but she's been providing information now because the polls have been really not in her favor and Bernie Sanders is basically trailing her right now. So this is pretty much the update. Thank you for joining us. And again, we'll check in probably in the next couple of weeks. Look forward to seeing you again soon.